Hello everybody, today we have Sanika with us. She is final year student at Cummins College of Engineering. She has done her internship at BNY Mellon and will be joining as SDE at BNY Mellon soon. So let's go through her journey. So my first question is, how did you got to know about this opportunity? Was that on campus or off campus? So uh, firstly, hi everyone. So uh, if you are an Cummins College student, you must know that uh, our placement cell has a lot of opportunities for internship as it has for the placement. So uh, BNY was uh, on campus on campus recruitment for us also. So it was basically uh, companies come to the campus and follows the same procedure as they go for the placement. OK, so what was the basic application process? So the basic application process was like a Google form floated by the uh, Sir Rajurkar Sir, our placement cell head chief. And it was consisting of basic few uh, personal details like your name, etc., like contact IDs. And after that, it was consisting of CGPA. And that's all. CGPA, I guess, was the first main thing. And then the, your contact details. If, uh, if you are shortlisted for the next procedure, you must have the correct email ID. So it will come to you. Okay. So how many rounds were there for the selection process? Uh, so there was three rounds. The first round was the coding round as uh, for most of the companies, the first round is like an uh, coding round or it might be a combination of coding plus aptitude plus logical reasoning, etc. So based on different companies, there are different types of uh, online uh, first rounds. So it was the completely coding based round, which was consisting, I don't remember exactly, but it was consisting four to five questions. Uh, on average, it was like a medium to the hard one. So uh, as per I remember, uh, it was like a medium questions was like based on arrays and linked list and hard was one of, one of the TP question. Okay. Then, yeah. Uh -huh. Continue. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Uh and uh, how many questions were required to be solved to get selected for the interview round? Yeah, actually, this is the question that uh, like tricky question, like because we never know that uh, what is the selection criteria of the companies for the first round of the coding. Many a time what happens that we uh, used to solve many of the questions, but because of it is like a percentile system over the percentage system, but because multiple students go for like completion of all the questions, then selection based on the timing happens or sometimes it is like the uh, if it is hard, then uh, few of the people who just solve few of the test cases among the all also got selected. So, and we can't uh, check out like uh, what is the selection process for the first round, even though the placement cell can't ask for the what is your selection criteria. So this I can't uh, elaborate. Yeah. But I remember for one of the question, like uh, uh, the one for the hard one, uh, I could not solve all the test cases uh, among the question, but I wrote the algorithm of the what I thought in the, my mind into the commented section. So this might got checked if uh, people are like really checking your answers over there is if suppose a cutoff criteria, etc. Okay, so uh, then after your selection from the first round, how many interviews were there? So there were two interviews for the placement uh, section. There were three interviews and for internship sections, there were two interviews. The okay. first interview was like completely technical interview. And the second one was like a techno plus HR interview. And what were the questions? So in the technical round, it was around 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, it was basically about technical knowledge as we were just completed our second year. Even they talk to us like we don't expect many much from you, but the basic things like your clearance about the sorting, then what is comparatively better? Like, is it more sort or in quick sort, etc. The sorting questions were there. Then the coding questions of an average type was there. Uh, he asked, he gave me a pen and paper to write down the code. Uh, if I could remember, the one code was on reversing of linked list, etc. Like those were not of that difficult, but at that time of the period when you are just completed your second year and entering to third year. Uh, it is crucial mm -hmm. for us to remember all those codes at the one time. And so because of that, it is important for that time to apply your knowledge, like not to mixing up the was it our equation and was it an English question, etc. And coming up with a solution that uh, that was the question. That was the basic thing about the interview. Then uh, 
uh, apart from the linked list, there were questions on the uh, like there were theory questions on the hash also, and he gave me also one uh, question to solve about the hash table. After the hash linked list array, uh, then he gave me a question of a bit manipulation, which was I think at that level was a part of hard. And in that question, he was not getting satisfied by my answers. Like he asked me the first approach, then I elaborate, then he go for the second one. And even after he was trying to give me some, I, I guess like afterwards that he was trying to test me if someone is guiding you, are you able to go in the right direction or something like that. And then finally at the third attempt, he got, okay, fine now. And so first round was completely like techno. Then he asked me for any questions. Then I asked him for, uh, do you think that is there any loopholes? Because BNY was something like, uh, before the BNY, I did not uh, clear any of the first round of the companies. And it was my first round. So it was like, even though I, if I could not get selected, it was like a huge experience of learning that what I should not do in the next period. So I was very crucial about my what should be my resume or is it there any loopholes? So he talked a really nice thing. He said that, uh, look, no, no of the person or HR could tell you what are the loopholes of your resume because his entire three years uh, duration you learn, you apply, and it is like 30 minutes you try to elaborate what you're learning. So it is really difficult. You are the only one who can find what are your loopholes and what you're not. So he just talked to me like that. He was friendly. So uh, first round was really nice. It was like a first interview of my life and it was pretty good. Then the second interview was quite challenging because uh, it was uh, held by the head of engineer of the BNY Mellon in the uh, Pune sector. And he was really a reputed person and everyone was like scared of him. And while entering into the interview section also that one ma'am standing there said me all the very best. Huh? So I was quite like, what is happening? But, while entering, but I got to know why everyone was thinking about like that. He has a really good personality. When I entered into that uh, interview hall, then the first sentence he said, my check of all the thoughts you have about the interview, I, it is going to be different. I am not going to ask you any standard questions that HR or technical people asked you. It will be freshly for you and you will be fresh for me something like that he talked and then he was like very i think the main thing he checked over all the interview was like am i able to handle the stress because what he was doing he was giving me a question then starting a timer right in front of me and saying like solve it in a 10 minutes solve it in like a 15 minutes it was like a long i think 40 to 50 minutes interview the second one and he was checking like, am I stressed? Or the first question he was asked was like, uh, tell me if your best friend is, uh, I'm asking to your best friend that what is Sanika is and uh, how you would elaborate. And he said me for five minutes, uh, tell me like your best friend is speaking about you. So he was not, not like simply introduce you. He was that kind of person. He was just checking all around that could I handle the situations, etc. And then he asked me the questions about DBMS, like uh, there were complex queries. Uh, and in those queries, uh, I was stuck at one point and uh, uh, he said me, because my timing was finished, he asked me to show that. So I showed whatever I have I've completed till. I have the correct logic, but the syntax was a little bit shaken. And he asked me that, uh, what was the last time you did the queries, etc. So I said, sir, uh, in the last DBMS project, one or two months ago, I saw after afterwards, I was uh, away from the syntax. So he said, okay. So it was like, uh, honesty reflects there. You can't say like, okay, yesterday I read, but now I don't really remember syntax. It, it was true. Okay. If there is a lag, you will forget the syntax. But the logic is the one thing he was checking there that if you saw uh, right now a syntax, you have logic, so you can compute this question right now. So he was just checking around that your logic and etc. thing. Then he gave me a question at the last. And I think that was the uh, game changer for my interview. Like he gave me literally 15 seconds for that aptitude question uh, to be checked. Okay. And it was something like all letters in a one sentence of the ABCD, but I wasn't known about that question. So he just asked me in the 15 sec seconds, like what is the unique thing you find in the sentence? And I think in the the 15 seconds ends and so I said that, okay, I can say the A, see the A to Z letters. And he was said like, okay, good. And afterwards also he checked one thing that I have noticed. He was asking me, oh, like, do you have any questions for me? So I said, no. 
So he once again asked me, "Are you sure you don't have any questions?" I again said no, and again third time he asked me, "Are you sure you don't have questions?" But I was consistently no. So it was like boldness of you to express your opinions. It might be yes, it might be no, but you should be able to express it in a right way at in in the right uh, platform, right? So it should not be like there are standard rules. You must be asked asking one question to your HR. You you need not to even HR knows that this is known by everyone now. So you can be different. There is no problem at all to being a different. Just be confident. Confidence is the key for the interview, and then patience is the key for your reaching till the interview. It is like that. Right. So which projects were there in your resume at that time? so at that time as i said i just completed the uh, second year so there were three main projects in my uh, resume first one was was the very basic project which was uh, including all the concept of the oops uh, like uh, object oriented and uh, it was like a banking system something like that the second project i have because we were completed the dbms section so one project of uh, dbms was included it was uh, and because of that project i guess i reached to that landed to that query part of the my interview so your resume is really important it should be an honest reflection of uh, what you have done in your academics so it would you won't land at the situation where you are not able to explain what you have actually mentioned in your resume so resume should be really honest and the third project uh, was uh, one of the uh, program that is done by our college uh, i don't remember the name um, it was like a competition some kind of competition of the coding and i participated in that so it was a, a quiz competition so i have created a project of the linked list carrying all the quiz lists so i think buffer was the name of the competition buffer 2.0 right so in that i was participated so these three projects were main in my resume okay so resources and platforms uh, for the practice of dsa so for dsa uh, i have uh, conventionally followed all the time gigs for gigs only i do not went for all of the platforms because i find that they have mostly similar similar type of questions so any platform you can go with i went through the gigs for gigs and i also followed the lovebus cheat sheet for dsa also and dbms and os also okay so do you have any fi uh, final advice for all juniors <laughs> there it is like no difference in the junior senior we are like just 6 months or 8 <laughs> months apart from each other but as i earlier right. said for reaching to the first round you need patience it is not like you study really hard so you should get into the first first company only or second company only it's your time like the time when what you know and what is asked is like similar then you will get into that round and for the interviews the confidence is the key you should express your opinions boldly and represent your knowledge confidently that is all okay so best of luck sanika for your future thank you so and much thank you so much and thank you so much for coming thank you so much it was pleasure to talk to you